185milesouth.com. Smash that Patreon button. One hundred and eighty five miles south, a hardcore punk rock podcast. What's up, everyone? This week on the pod, we are making a big ass list. The top 100 punk and hardcore songs of the 1980s. And you may ask yourself, why the fuck would we take on a task? Making a list this big. Well, it all started with a dream. For some reason, there I was in the Star Wars bar scene, wearing an E Town concrete shirt and an X swatch. I looked down at it to check the time, and I caught a familiar figure out of the corner of my eye. Turning to him, I recognized him immediately. It was Tim Yohannan, the ultimate judge of what was punk and what was unpunk. He was strangely wearing an agnostic front shirt and had a dangly cross earring. The fuck? I shook my head and took a long pull on my Lime LD. I looked to my right, and it was Darby Crash in a main strike hoodie and a fresh pair of Tims. The fuck? Zach, you're doing good work, Tim said to me as I looked back over to him. I even like that 2000s list. Yeah, said Darby, chiming in. Peace and Security was the best LP of the 2000s. The fuck? So what's up? Why am I here? And why are you here? I asked. At that point, there was a commotion and we all turned around. For my dead body. Yes, I bet you have. I swear on the holy roar tape, Han shot first. We swiveled back around and Darby ordered another round of Lime LDs. I hate the melon one, he said. We're here to give you your next task, said Tim. The top 100 punk and hardcore songs of the 1980s. Damn, I said. What if some incel gets butt hurt that we don't take a shit lickers track and shoots up a mall? You can't stop perpetually online incels from doing perpetually online shit, Tim replied. Just make a list that kicks ass. But I can't do it alone. I shh. I looked to my right to see Darby with his finger over his lips. He brought it down and spoke again. You're surrounded by people who love 80s punk and hardcore. And you've done this before. Call on the same people. But shh. He did it again. The fuck? I know, I know, he said. Dan has a black flag blind spot. And Ben, for some reason, is a negative approach hater. Right. So how do I compensate for these glaring flaws, dude? I asked him. Look to the Midwest, chimed in Tim. Chicago? Minneapolis? Cincinnati? Where? I asked. No, you must go to a city so fucked... It birthed Dwid, and their lake caught on fire. Of course, I thought. So here we are, helping out. You know him, you love him. It is the best dressed man on the pod. It is Daniel Sant. What's up, Dan? To your level will never bend, because ganging up on guys is a fucking trend. Also up and out, it is Ben Merlis, a.k.a. Ben Edge, a.k.a. Badge. What's up, Ben? We're just a minor threat. Rounding us out. Don't call him Cincinnati. It is the man known as Clevo. What's up, Clevo? What's up, guys? What up, what up? All right, as we said on the intro, we are doing the daunting task of coming up with the best 100 punk and hardcore songs of the 1980s. There is an initial list right now, so you can go to 185milesouth.com, 
click the other tab at the top of the page and then click the top 100 lists. It'll be right there. You'll see a link to uh, the top 100 songs of the 1980s. That is the initial list that we're going to be building off of tonight. Tonight on the episode, Iron Sharpens Iron. I've brought in these three dudes and we are going to make the list even better or possibly worse. I think I already have a perfect list, but uh, these dudes are going to chime in. We're going to move stuff around, see where we end up. And then at the end, uh, we will allow the patrons to petition us to move things around. So, everyone, looking at the list, what are your initial thoughts, Dan? Um, There's a couple egregious things, and then most of it's quite good. Um, There's a few things in the top 10 that are way out of order, in my opinion. Um, and then there is um, an extremely egregious one in the middle of the top 10, which is Sheer Terror. I mean, I love Sheer Terror, don't get me wrong, but Sheer Terror, I don't think, deserve to be in the top six songs of the 1980s. Um, and then there are some other great things, but yeah, you know, it's good that we're going to have some song switches because. I definitely think some songs by certain bands are much better. And then there's one extreme egregious <laughs> aspect that will be my first petition. And we will see how that goes with my 185 brethren. If they agree with me, I'm not sure if they will, but it's absolute plain logic. But, you know, we'll see. Okay, I will say in my defense, choosing Sheer Terror, Here to Stay, as the number six song of the 1980s, dude, it is so good. I've listened to this playlist a ton of of times. We've tried to do this podcast for a while now, and while we've been pushing off and pushing off, I've been listening to the playlist, and I listen to it straight through, and all the time, I'm like, god damn, this all fits, and that song is one of the greatest songs of all time. It's like a mini hardcore opus, right? It's like everything you want in punk and hardcore, lyrically, musically, full of YOLO, full of like fucking everything, dude. It's like it is hardcore. It's like, everything and, you want. <laughs> that's right. And I'm the expert. Um, <laughs> Let me ask you this. Yep. There is an episode. Is this better than the Antidote 7 Inch? Yes. If I look at the list, you're telling me that Sheer Terror is much better than the Antidote 7 Inch. Okay, but see, this is the exercise, and this is why the song thing is so different, right? This is just songs, right? I agree. Like, okay, but- so, so for instance, I have Bold Talk is Cheap at number 32. I don't think this Speak Out is a top 50 hardcore record of the 1980s, but I think that Talk is Cheap is right there at 32. Well, I don't think that that's even the best version of Talk is Cheap. So this well, is why it's a discussion. <laughs> that's, <laughs> right. that's right. That's right. But in same thing, like, I don't I don't know. I mean, I guess we could go look at my list. I don't know if Just Can't Hate Enough is in my top 50 of the 1980s. But that track, good God, man, it's like one of the goats. And, like, it holds up, like, listening to everything in sequence, it's like, Coming after Minor Threat and before Descendants, like that is so heavy, but it fits right there. Like you have I don't thirty six places ahead of Sick of It All. Yeah, I mean, like I don't know, name a Sick of It All song better than this one. Injustice we'll System, it. The End, Might Drop, <laughs> Leave the Room, <laughs> well, Get Patted hey, on the Back as You Exit. You're incorrect, and you're welcome to leave the room. Um, but we can <laughs> let's move on. Ben, what's your take? overall on the list well you sent a spotify playlist of this working um list to us and of course there are songs that aren't even on spotify so it's not exactly 100 songs but i just listen to it like just when i want to listen to good music i put on that playlist so it's like probably 90 of these songs are like yeah these are some of the fucking best punk songs and hardcore songs of the 80s Therefore, they are some of the best songs, any era, any genre ever, because we're talking about hardcore from the 80s. Come on. It doesn't get much better than that. 
Um, and so maybe we'll, we'll hammer out that last 10%, but I I'm sure I'll, I'll get canceled out by whatever I want to change. The one thing that like, like is like disturbing to me is the song kids of the eighties by infra riot. I listened to that over and over and over again. And I'm like, how is this a top 100 song? This is a perfectly okay punk song, but maybe it's cause it's called kids of the eighties. You're like, fuck it. Put it on the best songs of the eighties list. Cause it's just doesn't sound like a top 100 song to me. Um, Oh, I love that song. I think it's so good and it's so catchy and it's also like a little under the radar. Right. So uh, sometimes like those under the radar songs that you love, like get a little extra cachet, you know? Yeah. Well, it, I mean, stuff on that same like wavelength that's on the, you know, the honorable mention little area we have, it's just screaming to replace it, but you know, we'll get into it. We'll get uh, into it. Screaming to replace it. Like the band scream hint, hint. <laughs> no, yeah, I well, mean, I, I'm sure uh, you'll go there, Ben. A hundred percent though. I mean, like I have, I have no doubt that like my bottom 10 are getting knocked out. Right. And probably my bottom 25. So we'll see. We'll see. Clevo <laughs> overall, overall thoughts on the list. Um, I, I, it's crazy that a list that has minor threat number five has them too low. I, I mean, in all honesty. Um, oh, yeah. I, I think that there's just some crazy stuff on, there's even some stuff on this list. You know, we're looking at top, top hundred songs of the eighties and there's like stuff on here that I'm just like, not terribly familiar with, um, which is crazy that there's music that's been around for, you know, 30 plus years that is still sometimes a blind spot, which means it's like, it's like one of those things where it's like, you know, there's just like it's impossible to know every hardcore punk song ever written, even though we we sometimes pretend that we do. Um, and there's definitely some stuff on the on the honorable mentions here that I, I definitely hope we'll see boosted up. And there's actually a couple uh, a couple things that weren't even on that list. So um, you know, it's that's what we're here for to talk about to talk about hardcore. So let's do it. Yeah, this is either going to be awesome or it's going to be an epic fail. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so we're going to do a few rounds here and the initial round that we're going to do is each dude is going to be able to do three initial petitions. So for instance, I do not believe Fugazi is on the list. Are they? No, no. Okay. So there's no Fugazi on the list. So Dan is going to be able to have three petitions. We rolled Dan goes first, Ben goes second, Clevo goes third. Uh, Dan can say, I think that Fugazi should be the number one song on the list. That will get sent out to Clevo and Ben. One of them will yay it. If they yay it, then it'll go to me for the final word. And uh, and I'll shoot that down because it's not number one. But maybe Dan gets a little more reasonable and he says, I think this list is ridiculous without Fugazi represented on it. I think they should enter at number 99. And I'll say, huh, seems appropriate. Although Infra Riot uh, should still be ahead of it, you know? So so there we go. Oh, and, uh gosh. But yeah, so so then it'll get yayed and then I'll approve it, right? And so we'll change the list accordingly. Dan will have three of those, then Ben will have three, then Cleve will have three, and then we'll enter to the next round. So Dan, the floor is yours. What is your first petition <laughs> to uh, the jury ear of your peers? Okay, before I even embark upon business, I want to say that I have brought an exorcist with me to kill the ghost of Tim Yohannan. I have brought the Ghostbusters, if he even comes back from hell a second time. <laughs> and I've even brought the the uh, Melissa McCarthy Ghostbusters as well, just to uh, piss off all the incels. <laughs> That's right. Well, I don't even have that buttons queued up, so you're all good. <laughs> don't worry about him. Don't worry about Darby Crash in the main strike hoodie either. <laughs> well, respect to him for repping... But if Crucial Response can send out a main strike hoodie, why can't they get their music up on Spotify? It is so confounding. <laughs> it is very <laughs> frustrating. But yeah. Okay. So here's going to be my first petition. Minor Threat should be number one. And I'm and I I am not agreeing with this song title, like the song choice at the moment, but just. In the sheer power of Minor Threat, I am petitioning for Minor Threat to bump up to number one 
before we even embark on this business. The man who didn't think that Minor Threat had a top seven straight edge song <laughs> of the entire history of straight edge <laughs> music uh, is petitioning for Minor Threat to have the best song in possibly the best decade of the best genre of music of all time. Um, I mean, I put it as number five. I have small man, big mouth, minor threat, number five. And actually, you know what, dudes, let's take the time to read off the top 20. Uh, yes, ben, please. you want to do uh 20 through 16? Yeah. Number 20 is um, new Aryans by the band Reagan youth. Actually, I'm going to do, I'm going to do a, a band name, then song title 20 Reagan youth, new Aryans, 19, Four skins, one law for them. 18, SSD, get it away. 17, antidote, something must be done. 16, killing time, backtrack. 15, misfits, mommy, can I go out and kill tonight? Question mark. 14, last rights, chunks. 13, seven seconds, young till I die. 12, negative approach, ready to fight. 11, blitz, razors in the night. All right, Dan, take us down 10 to 1. Crow Mags, Hard Times. Uniform Choice, My Own Mind. That's at number nine. Number eight, Youth of Today, Stabbed in the Back. Number seven, Descendants, Bike Age. Number six, Sheer Terror, Here to Stay. Well, yeah, maybe, not. Motherfucker. maybe not. Maybe yeah, not. Motherfucker. <laughs> number five, Minor Threat, Small Man, Big Mouth, Best and song. Big List. Best song. Small Man, Big List. Best song. <laughs> bad brains i come in at number four three bad religion do what you want number two the epic blind justice into last warning the epic line step of two songs as one <laughs> and number one adolescence kids of the black hole yeah number two best hardcore song ever and punk one and got number one with adolescence kids of the black hole Dudes, this was hard to put together, so that's that. It is nice to have a jump-off point. I'm not butthurt this is going to get moved around. It is just a starting point, and I'm going to get a little say at the end, too. So, uh, And everything's going to be amazing at the end of it, anyway. For sure. <laughs> There's going to be no bullshit on here. Look, dude, the ghost of Tim Yohannan and the ghost of Darby Crash didn't come to me to create a bullshit list. So we're going to do this. Uh, Dan, what is your first petition? You want to do a minor threat to number one, Clevo or Ben? Do you back that? Um, I back that only if adolescence gets bumped down to one point five. Come on, man, live the gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> Respect. Uh, but are you backing minor threat moving to number one? Um, only if the song changes, um, and I think we can get that song changed. So yes, I'm going to have a yay on that one. Uh, I'm doing nay. I still am keeping the list as it is. What is the point of these petitions? <laughs> because this is going to be, number this is going to be ridiculous. This is going to be like, Dan, hey, can I do this? And then you're going to no. be like, no. Dan, you have 50 bumps. You have 50 bumps, right? So you can do it anyway. You can you can bump the minor threat to one plus 45. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it doesn't work that way. You can bump it all the way to number one. But like, why am I fucking with my top one or two? The, those are untouchable right now until we get to the rounds, is what I'd say. You want to move it to number three? That can be your second petition. Well, I would have, I would have very much liked to know that before these petitions. All right, second petition. This is ludicrous to me, and I don't know if it will get um, co-signed by. I think Clevo's my hope here. Um, UK subhumans being so far behind Canadian subhumans is absolute degradation and disgusting to me i would like to bump the uk subhumans one space before the canadian subhumans okay uh where's canadian subhumans at they are at 63 okay let's do it and, uh, and or... uk subhumans are at 94 yep okay uh ben or clevo you back in that yeah okay absolutely here we go for songs, though, dude, that uh, Canadian Subhumans, pretty fucking good. Oh, it, I, I mean, it's fantastic. It's in the top 100 songs of the 80s. You know, it yes. is fantastic. But, but no problem. But, Dan, you could have just asked for a straight switch. How about that? Yeah, well, you know, I, it, it's kind of fun to see them side by side. 
All right, hold on. I'm just trying to do this real time. This is going to end up being a problem, I think. Yeah, no worries. Um, what do you? The, what is your next petition? Uh, my next petition is I would like Fugazi waiting room to enter the charts at number twenty four. Banner Cleva. No. <laughs> um, you got greedy. You got greedy, my man. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not against that because that they're still below Black Flag. So I'm not against it. I say yay. Yeah, I'm with Clevo. Too high. All right, that's three for Dan. Let's move on to Ben. Three initial petitions. I hate the petition round. We could I mean, have just not had it. You got one. You got one big one, dude. You moved up. How many slots there? You moved from 94 to 62. 60, 60, yeah, 63. Right? Subhumans Canada will go down to 64. I want to move um, Battalion of Saints Second Coming into the top 100. You have on your list, you have like a bunch of potential. You have a bunch of ones lit, labeled 101. I guess they're like suggestions, right? Or just yeah, it's just list. a bunch of shit. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, one of them- Dan or Clevo? Well, where do you want to put it? That's the get problem. Greedy, well, and yeah, you're just yeah. gonna get shit on. That's kind of why, I like, I want to be like, okay, where where can it go where it's not gonna get completely shot down like you just did with Fugazi? Or do I have to just come up with a number and hope that it's not too high for you guys? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now it's Dan's time with the gavel. <laughs> it's time for revenge. Um, I'll just say, uh, I'll put them at. I'll put them at forty. Wow, forty! You got creepy. <laughs> I, th- I, I thought agree. you were going to say ninety-five or something. Uh, Dan or Clevo, you want to co-sign that? It hurts as a San Diegan to to not allow that, but that's too high. I'm sorry, yeah, Cleaver. Yeah, I it's 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 too much, man. Okay, Ben, but, but you, you can try get, again. You get the ones to put in at 51 later on, Ben. That's true. You can just shoot it in at 51 at any time you want that that round. Uh, ben, you can try again though. So like now you can try 60, and then if we shoot that down, you can try 80. <laughs> Um, I'm going to do, okay. I'm going to try another strategy. I'm going to do scream came without warning at like 75 just to get them on the friggin' list. Then I, maybe I can move them, move them around uh, later. Uh, Dan or Cleva. I, 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 I would take that. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll second it if we're following okay. Robert's rules of orders. <laughs> Damn, Badge, you want to put him over funeral oration at 75? <laughs> we'll allow it for solidarity. How about that? Screen oh, no warning. Going to 75 and uh, funeral oration getting bumped to 76. All right, Ben, your third petition. Solidarity, no pun intended. There's a great Scream song on this same record entitled Solidarity. Um, I'm going to say... I want to switch Black Flag with Foreskins. Like, okay, let's see. Foreskins is like pretty far up there. They're in the top twenty. Um, I'm trying to find them right now. They're they're number nineteen, uh, and Black Flag is twenty three. Oh, twenty three. Oh, they're not what a that- waste of a thing. Yeah, you're right. That that is a waste. Um, it is five slots, and it does bump them into the top twenty. I think that's a great petition. That's it, like. You, when we start hammering in this list, that's what it's going to be, right? Like, dude, how do you have foreskins over Black Flag? If you want to ride for that, here's your switch. Listen to the song One for, One Law for Them, and then you know why. That's true. Well, that's I understand, true. like, obviously Dan is a an oi stan, and he hates Black Flag post Nervous Breakdown. <laughs> I don't EP. hate them. I don't hate them. Okay, okay. But, like, to me, Black Flag Revenge – that would be in my top five, but I'm again, don't want to get greedy. I just want to get them into the top 20. And pl- besides we're talking about fucking black flag. Come on, like easily like a top five or 10 punk band that anyone ever gets into when they get into punk. Like just, I would, I would yeah. second that. 
Okay, so we're so Clevo seconds putting Black Flag at number that would put Bubba at number nineteen, right? All right, let's do it. That's fine. So Black Flag goes to number nineteen. Here we go. Have Black Flag ever said go to football, throw a brick? <laughs> no. Let's go to Clevo. That's three for Ben. ben uh, Clevo has three initial petitions. All right. So my first one, um, I want to take the Dead Kennedys at number fifty-six and move them to number 32 which would put them after poison idea and before bold because i don't want to live in a world where people think bold is better than dead kennedy's yeah so you put them at uh well just a song but uh yeah you'd put them at 33 bold would get bumped to 34 correct no bold is at 32 so bold is at 33 uh, if you if you refresh, oh wait, oh, it just got moved. Okay, I'm looking. I I so I printed this off at work because I'm old school and I was also doing this instead of actually doing work today. <laughs> so uh, I was looking at my printout. So yeah, so moving bold, uh, moving the dead Kennedys in front of bold. Yes. Do you have so, a monocle? Do you have a monocle while reviewing this, or, <laughs> or opera glasses? I, I, well, I have my I have my uh, bifocals, so I can oh. read. <laughs> Okay, uh, Ben, do you uh, yay that? Um, Nazi Punk's Fuck Off, which is the Dead Kennedy song on the list, that's a fucking top 10 hardcore song of the 80s. And so putting it, putting it at what number would it be at now in this case? It would get bumped, it would get bumped from number 57 to number 33. Yeah, I mean, I almost want to strike it down because you're not bumping it up high enough, but that would be very defeating. So yes, I, I'm going to give it a yay. Okay, I approve it. Let's. Uh, so Dead Kennedys goes in at 33. Okay, next one, Clevo. Um, I want to move the adolescents at number one. <laughs> I want to move them down to number 12. So behind negative approach. I back that. It's going down to after negative approach. So it would be in the 13th slot, bumping down seven seconds, young till I die, bumping down last race chunks. Well, I guess it wouldn't. Yeah. Everything would bump up. Yes. Except for those. Uh, yeah, I'm declining it. It's my number one. Yeah, boy. I was just going to say over my dead body. No pun intended. <laughs> All right. Let's see how it is. And that that means Zach just just aligned with the negative approach hater contingent named Badge. I mean, this is a this is a disgrace already. Patreons and listeners alike, get your pitchforks and torches and get in the streets. Here's What's a, a better secret. punk song? What's a better punk song than Kids of the Black Hole? It's the only song on the planet earth that can beat blind justice in a black in into last warning in the 1980s punk. No. Yeah. I mean, it, according to you. Yes. All right. And then my last petition. There's a song at 11. That's better. I would like to swap out uh, from number 100, taking out life's blood reckoning force <laughs> and replacing it with doom. Police bastard. Replacing the police bastard with okay. police bastard. Okay, but right now, Life's Blood is bumped. Bumped. bumped down to 103 already, so you would be putting it in over Articles of Faith, My Father's Dreams is now 100. Oh, can we swap? Uh, never mind. Let's swap Doom with Articles of Faith. Yeah, but Clevo, just so you know, like there's, we all get chances to enter new bands at 51 a few times, and it's going to bump police bastard from that final oh. 10 anyway okay so okay i'm just saying if you want to put it in in the 80s then maybe it can stick around yeah that's, that's, if, that's it, right. if it gets agreed that's to. right the next time then you will have you will be able to enter three songs at number 51 so if you care that much about that song and want to get it that high you can hold all right then i'll do something else okay see see i'm helping you when you were all stabbing me in the back no ball. stabbing. No stabbing. <laughs> um, I've got to play the heel. Like the genius style, the wine and heel. All right. <laughs> the last one I am going to tr try to do then is Rights of Spring at number 65. 
Right to spring for want of, sorry, at 65. Yep, it's actually at 67 right now, but oh, initially at 65. I want to move it up. Okay. Nazi Punks is still at 57, by the way, Zach. Uh, if you refresh, it's at 33. Oh, okay. I saw it on there twice is what I'm saying. I want to move it up to right behind Op Ivy. Yeah, it's still on there twice. Okay. Right on. Now Op Ivy is at? 46 right now, Cleaver. 46. So, yeah. So, I want to move uh, Rights of Spring for Want of yep. to right behind Op Ivy Caution. A.K.A. Okay. Right ahead of the Ramones. Right ahead of Let the that sink in. Let that sink in. <laughs> is, songs, is songs not bands, not albums? I know. I not know. I, I'm just being controversial because everyone. Okay. Um, Dan or Ben, you want to approve that? Yeah, I approve it. All right. I'm fine with it. Let's do it. All right. Rise of Spring goes in at number 48. And that is it for the petition round. Wait, Let Rise me... of Spring goes at 47. Uh, it goes in front oh, yeah, of yeah. the Yep, yep, yep. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Good catch. I see you guys trying to. Ah, try it's to all good to me. Ones. It's all good to me. Here we go. What What do you think, like, Clevo and Ben, what do you think is the most egregious song and pot- potentially placing the, out of the initial list? Um, is there anything that just. Like you're just like, what the hell? I I think I I wouldn't personally pick that minor threat song. I wouldn't pick Small Man Big Mouth. I would, and, but this is also like, what what do what would you replace it with? Because I in my head I think filler, but also in my eyes, but also straight edge, but also out of step. So yeah. I, but I would also say that Small Man Big Mouth might not even be my top five minor threat song, I guess, from what I'm saying. Yeah, but but even Small Man Big Mouth against almost anything else on this list is going to body it, you know? But, I mean, yeah. maybe. When you yeah. listen to that riff, though, when you listen to that riff and how like cool and original it is for 81, da 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 then the fast beat behind it it's and the so sick the and yeah and oh, it's wait. like that perfect amount of like tunefulness but it's not melodic and then like you have the breaks in the guitar with the fast part just going it's like how shredded you know, his voice is on the small man big mouth parts too yeah and like the guitar sounds so perfect and fuzzy because it keeps coming in and out like when you really break down that song it's like i I had to go with it. Like I, I labored over this, you know, this is like, you know, maybe the greatest hardcore band of all time, right. That has, if you wanted to argue, they got three songs to lose. That's the most you could do. You know what I mean? Otherwise everything is near flawless. There, there is hardly any other bands in any genre that could have 28 song discographies having. Yeah. Like I could do without two of these. There's, there's hardly anyone else out there that's like that. Yeah, and just when I was thinking about like, I don't know, I, I went through it all and I was like, you know what, dude? This is the one. It's never been the one that I honed in before, but it's the one I'm honing in at this time. So I'm sure it's going to get switched out. No big deal. But it made the initial list. I'm happy with anything else except for a couple songs. Um, but you guys aren't going to go there because no one line steps that hard. Uh, except for Ben and Dan on certain occasions. but uh, <laughs> And you on th- makings of entire lists and then listening to petitions. This is pretty good, and your petitions were egregious. And you got some in there, so it's all good. <laughs> okay, so not. we're going to go to uh, the next round. It's Dan's time to shine, and Dan is going to get three rounds here. He's going to get to enter uh five different songs at number 51 if he wants he doesn't have to do all five but he can add up to five songs at 51 then he's going to get 10 song switches so there's 100 bands on the top 100 right now he can go in and swap out 10 songs if he wants if he only wants to do seven he can whatever if he doesn't want to do any he doesn't have to that won't happen then he's going to get to bump stuff around he's got 50 points to play with so he's going to get it, bump things up 
uh, 50 times. So he could literally take whatever's 51 at that time, bump it up to number one. If he wants to do, uh, if he wants to move five different things, 10 points, he can do that. If he wants to move 10 different things, five points, he can do that. Uh, the world is his oyster because he's the best dressed man on the pod. We love him. It's Dan Sant. Dan, uh, what do you want to enter at number 51? Okay. First of all, how is t- my time to shine spelled? Is it spelled in an E-Town manner? <laughs> I love it. Um, okay. Um, let's go ahead and put Waiting Room by Fugazi in at number 51. Okay. Waiting Room by Fugazi is going in at 51. Bumping down in fest. What a creative, melodious, amazing punk song and arguably hardcore song. But, you know, we won't we won't tread there for this moment. We'll just enjoy Fugazi for what they are. And um, Waiting Room is epic because, you know, it rips. I can also play it at FITB and it goes over there too. It's just undeniably great music. Um, okay, your next choice, do you want to put it over Waiting Room or under Waiting Room? Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to put The Partisans, I Never Needed You, in at number 70. Okay. Um, number 70. So it's bumping down TSOL. It's bumping down Abolish Government, Silent Majority. We're adding the partisans. What's the song again, Dan? I never needed you. I never needed you. I'd never say that to you, Dan. Okay, oh, there we you. go. It's in at seventy. What's your next? Um, I'm gonna put Red Alert in Britain. I'm gonna put that in at number fifty-four. Okay, it, the numbers are getting a little wonky, so below Stalag, below the dicks, below the abused, where do you want it? Uh, between the dicks and the abused. Okay, so above the abused, below the dicks, this is Red Alert in Britain. Yeah. Okay, you got two more. All right. Um, if you look at the list, and and I would put this song on anyway, um, because I love this song so much. This is one of the best punk songs ever written, if you ask me. Um, but there is a distinct lack or a distinct, complete patriarchal vocal performance pretty much on this list. So I am going to introduce at number 52, Violators, Summer of 81, one of my favorite punk songs of all time. Okay, so under Fugazi or under Infest? Under Fugazi. Okay. Violators Summer of 81. Yep. Okay, it's in there. One more if you want it. And then um I noticed this band wasn't on here and I I definitely think they should be mentioned. I think they should be in there. So I'm going to go at uh in between uh in between the stains after the stains and in before Agent Orange, I'm going to institute um, the Addicts Viva La Revolution. Okay. Great addition. The Addicts Viva La uh, Revolution. Okay. Let me run the numbers here and then you can refresh. And then. Um, yeah, I, I thought that was strange that I didn't see them there. But, you know, when you're compiling something like this, it's just crazy to try and, like, capture everything in your mind, you know? Yeah, and also, I mean, even there's 10 things on the honorables that, like, I could easily stick in there. Okay, so as of now, um, if we're just looking at the 100, the fix is now at 100. And then so everyone listening that's not – obviously, you can't see this real time. Here's what's been bumped out of the top 100. Info Riot, Kids of the 80s, Social Distortion, Another State of Mind, Jerry's Kids, I Don't Belong, Chaos UK, Minute Warning, Articles of Faith, My Father's Dreams, Gang Green, Another Wasted Night, Youth Brigade, Sync with California, and Life's Blood, A Reckoning Force. So that's where we're at. Uh, Dan, you get to 
Now you get to change 10 songs. What are you changing here? Wait, okay. Zach. F- sorry, yes. I, I hate to interrupt. Should we do this as a round where then I do this, then Clevo does this, and then and then Dan goes to switch songs just because we're on this round now? Uh, that's not how we originally planned it. Dan, what's your take? Uh, I think that's fine. Okay. Hopefully we don't fuck up because we have the order written out. <laughs> but uh, okay. So we move on to Ben. Ben, you get to enter four songs at 51 oh, okay. or, or lower. Right. All right. After Fugazi and Above the Violators, I got to put a song by the professionals, Little Boys in Blue. This is Steve Jones and Paul Cook's post-Sex Pistols band. A lot of times we forget there's a lot of 70s spillover going into the 80s, and we don't we associate those guys with the 70s and that, but that, that shit is like 80, 80 or 81. Okay. Um so the professionals um, go in at number 52, Little Boys in Blue, bump down the violators to number 53. Next one, Ben. Next one. Below the violators and above infest. I'm gonna stay on my theme of 70s dudes making great records in the 80s. The band Empire, the song is Electric Guitar. This is Derwood Andrews and Mark Laff of the band Generation X. It's their post-Generation X band Empire. Very influential on the DC hardcore scene. Um, a great band. And, and, and this is me making amends for completely forgetting to put their album on my favorite uh my top 100 uh punk records of the 80s the list we did uh you can look you can see that on the website too just imagine empire being somewhere in there because i just completely spaced until like two days after we did the episode okay um how many more do i have left two more two more if you want you don't have to use them yeah 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 yeah. okay (laughs) (laughs) uh Hey man, I I had the I have the violators over empire because that violator song fucking rules. Okay, below um, empire and above infest, I want to put the song. Uh, the band is Husker Du, and the song is It's Not Funny Anymore. This is on the Metal Circus EP SST Records, nineteen eighty three. This is a song I feel guilty for not picking on our. Um, 1983 Super 7 episode because I had to get the scream came without warning in there. And so hopefully this list will get both those songs in there. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so Who's Your Do is going below Empire, correct? Correct. Okay, uh, it's in there. And I got one to go, right? Correct. All right. Below Dag Nasty and above Stalag 13, I want to put the, so- the band is called Rain, R-A-I-N, and the song is called Worlds at War. This is from the State of the Union Comp 1989 Discord Records. Um, Rain is one of these uh, DC bands that may probably recorded seven songs ever, but goddamn, those seven songs are good, and this is the best one of them all. Um, sort of overlooked by the virtue of them having not really toured or or recorded that much material but this exercise is about great songs so all you needed to have ever done was write an incredible song that ranks up there with the best of them and i believe this song does all right uh you guys can all refresh we are shuffled and ready for clevo to enter three three songs at 51 or lower I I just realized I completely fucked up. I thought a certain album was 1979, and it's 1980. So I didn't put I, I didn't enter Stiff Little Fingers, Gotta Get Away, or Tin Soldiers into this list. But hey, it is what it is. All right. Um. So 51. So at 51. So I want to go ahead of Fugazi here. Boo. <laughs> Angry Samoans, lights out. Love it. Fuck yeah. <laughs> okay, it's in. Um, I want to go at six. So between Kraut and Blast, so between 67 and 68. Yep. I'm going to go Doom, Police Bastard. 
police bastard. Spoiler yep. alert. Perfect. Um, and since it's now off of the top 100. You can bring it back. I'm, I want to bring the fix. Okay. And I want to bring them up to number between Beyond and The Stains, so between 83 and 84. Okay. Let's see the fact that Beyond has dropped that much is crazy. You can bring it up, Dan. You're going to have 50 bumps. True. Let's see here. We are moving The Fix, Cuz the Elite, Jan's Room. And that song's probably going to get changed, too. Cool. All right, let's move it up here. It's going below beyond. Okay, there we are. Let me switch all this shit. Do this drag. And then now this is going to get complicated with me adding points. Okay, so out of the top 100, Youth Brigade DC, it's about time we had a change. Amoebix with Axeman, Sado Nation on whom they beat. Underdog, say it to my face. Authorities, Act Chung, Doctor No, Burn, and uh, I can oh, believe that's a face. And then, yep. And then everyone got their uh, their wish. Infra Riot is out of there. Kids the eighties, great song. Social D's out. Jerry's Kids out. Chaos UK out. Articles of Faith, Gang Green, Youth Brigade, and Life's Blood all out. But they can get bumped up. Dan's got fifty bumps. Ben's got forty bumps. Clevo's got thirty bumps. With the final say of the bumpage. Dan, let's go. 50. Where do you want to do this? Are we doing the bumps or are we doing the song switches? Oh, song switches first. My bad. So, okay. uh, Dan, you got 10 song switches. All right. Song switches. We'll go with my first one. We are going to switch the song at number five from Small Man Big Mouth to In My Eyes. Okay. Minor threat. Like In that. My Eyes. All right. That is uh, your first song switch. Then I'm going to switch... Ben, can you keep track of how many we're doing here? Yep. Yeah, because I'm just going to line step and do like 15. (laughs) That's right. Dan's got 10. He's done one so far. (laughs) Go ahead, Dan. All right. Number two, two, I'm going to switch out the song for the band that is at number four from I to Right Brigade for Bad Brains. Killing yeah. one of the best mid tempo bangers of all time. I'm, I'm, that's another band, though, that like you could pick anything off of the Rorka set besides the reggae songs, and hundred percent, it would be that. That was one that I was like, "What do you switch it to?" One hundred percent. I mean, I agree, but I've chose the right song. <laughs> all um, right. I, I would just say that I has what is possibly the best punk riff of all time. <laughs> it's very yolo so sick who could write that dude just dr yolo no no that's right in 1982 though <laughs> okay i'm gonna come in at i think the choices for even though the the band that's at number six is egregiously not been moved yet which should have been done in one of the uh petitions but you know you would have said no anyway um all right i think the songs at six seven eight are good and then we're going to go change the band or the song for the band at number nine which is uniform choice and we are going to change that to no thanks okay change to no thanks next one now we're going to change the band that's at number 12, the almighty negative approach. And we are changing that. Even though Ready to Fight is so good, I'm going to change that to nothing. All right. Negative approach. Ready to Fight changes to nothing. And then the band that is at number 15. Wait, wait, wait. Are, is okay. it the seven inch or the LP version? Seven oh. inch version. All right. No more changing for me. Okay. Next one. Yeah, it's just to make it easy on the uh, paperwork here. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. <laughs> Number 15 is The Misfits. And instead of Mommy, Can I Go Out and Kill Tonight? I think it is just going to be, it just needs to be changed to Skulls. Okay. Let's go as the Skulls off Walk Among Us. Okay. Uh, that's six, right, Ben? Uh, I I counted five. Did I count wrong? Yeah, I'm at I'm at five. Uh, that's seven, right, Ben? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dan. All next right. one. 
Now we're going to go down to Operation Ivy. And we're going to change that song to The Crowd. Okay. Let them know what it is. It's from Caution to The Crowd. Okay. Yes. Okay, got it. And then um, let's go Sick of It All at an insanely late thing of got it. where are they uh, uh number okay. 44 to injustice system changing, changing my, life. my life to injustice system i mean that's almost a coin flip but i just feel like if we're going to represent the songs of the 80s the way the song structure for injustice system is and then i love the freedom i write i'll always have like on the last verse it just it just is so good it's just fucking god tier songwriting you know um i mean we we celebrated this record not that long ago on the pod and and it really deserves to be there all right now we're going to change the gorilla biscuit song to competition okay great call this to competition uh gorilla love- biscuits changes from first failure to competition all right Next one, yeah. Dan. And um, how many do I have left, Ben? Two. All right. I'm going to change Subhumans Religious Wars to Rats. Boo. Change it to Rats. <laughs> you can change back. it back. I know. It's true. I could. Okay. I mean, I, right. I love I love them both, but just Rats has this special place in my mind. All right. It's switched. And then, and then I'm gonna change sheer terror from here to stay to just can't hate enough. <laughs> All right, that's the game. Just can't hate enough. All right, and I believe that is ten for Dan. So we go on to Ben. You get to switch out eight songs. Dan, can you keep track, please? All right. Eight songs, uh, Ben. Let's go. I'm going to do Misfit Skulls, and I'm going to change it to Astro Zombies. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know- almost chose Astro Zombies, too. Well, the funny no, thing no is... No wrong answers, man. Th- that was my, num- my number one thing, was to turn Mommy Can I Go Out and Kill Tonight to Astro Zombies, because it's like one of the lesser songs, in my opinion, to my favorite song. And Skulls is like much closer to Astro Zombies. It's very close to being, you know... Uh, top tier. All right. Um, I'm going to switch suicidal tendencies subliminal to wow. institutionalized. Um, is blast still in the top 100? Yes. Yes. Okay. They're holding on. They're okay. holding on. Oh, they're, they're, they're safely at number 70 at this point. I'm going to change blast. Only time will tell to, I don't need to, um, only time will tell is the first song on it's in my blood. And I always skip it. Like I always, it's like, it's too long. And I'm amazed Zach picked that song. Cause it's a really long song. And Zach's always, you know, talking about how oh, he doesn't like it. Five, dude. Huh? Born a rocker, die a rocker. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not feeling it. Um, I don't need to is like not representational of them either. Uh, Cause it's just like a straight edge song kind of, <laughs> but it's so awesome. All right. Agent orange, the last goodbye. I want to change to blood stains because come on, man, blood stains. That's the trademark. I knew song. you were going to do that, but I yeah. I'm with Zach here. I'm, okay. I'm team Zach on this one. Yeah. I think that like blood stains is kind of universally thought of as the best agent orange song, but it also doesn't like represent their vibe that they like, they do that 80s style with like those dark overtones so well, you know, like people always talk about like TSOL being that band, you know, but agent orange is like, right there too like like just tapping into a little bit of the darker melodies and it's not represented on the song but this is one of the best songs of all time so respect yeah uh we can also ask ben what version of this song it's on the lp and the seven inch right um the original version i can't remember if the rodney on the rock comp version is the same as the seven inch version but whatever the original the non-lp the original version whatever the first one they did the one where his voice is more like this is the better one um (laughs) <laughs> and then i'm gonna go dys i'm gonna switch wolf pack to circle storm madness 
That is madness. Yep. I'm not talking scar bounds here. Yep. Um, yeah, I just agreed, love, but switched. It's like slow versus fast, right? Well, actually, Wolfpack gets fast at the end. Yeah, but it's one of the greatest like Wolfpack's OG slow game. songs ever, dude. Yeah, and it's menacing, and it's got the like off time vocal parts, like echoing the main vocal part. It has oh. a fast part at the end that no one ever covers. Yep, that's right. Um, and also uh, the chorus, the chorus cover of it is epic. Yes, except uh, they don't do one the of fast the bands part. that doesn't do the fast part exactly. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just love Circle Storm is just so awesome and fast. And I know Wolfpack, but the problem with Wolfpack is every kid, every kid is my brother here. Well, what about the ladies? Come on, man. Um, all right. It's just like, dude. Oh, it's my dude. God, Ben. Get the fuck out of here with that critique. <laughs> what an asshole. Hey, call I'm just my, more woke than you. brothers and sisters. Yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. all should hear how Ben talks on text. Come on. <laughs> just more woke than you, dude. <laughs> this motherfucker. This <laughs> motherfucker. All right. Um, all right, Ill Repute. I'm going to change book in its cover to Clean Cut American Kid. I actually feel very strongly about this, that Clean Cut American Kid is by... A Country Mile, Ill Repute's greatest song ever. Also on a Roger It's song. about you. You're just an egomaniac and it's about you. <laughs> um, all right. Well, booking its covers about you, dude. <laughs> I just <laughs> doesn't work. Um, I, and then UK okay. Subhumans, I'm going to change rats back to Religious Wars because I'm Team Zach. Religious Wars <laughs> is unquestionably my favorite UK Subhuman song. Uh, I'm not and, mad at it. I just prefer rats personally. Well, this is what it's all about. We're bouncing around. It's great song, getting switched out for great song, and getting switched back to a great song. Uh, okay, Dan, is that eight? No, he's at seven. He's got one more. All okay. right, Ben, one more. I'm going to go Chain of Strength, Let Down. I'm going to change it to True Till Death, except the 80s version doesn't have that at the beginning. Uh, because, come on, Team Frosty, baby. Yeah, you know, uh, like I changed three things this morning. That was one of them. I had True Till Death originally, and then I was just like, dude, I don't know. It, it's like a lot of times these mid tempo bangers are the best song because, like, we take the fast songs for granted. Uh, we can speak on the discharge uh, discourse also from our text change today. Uh, I have Protest and Survive in the list, and I was like, is this kind of cheating? Uh, people out of like the full discharge experience by like having them not play like a song in their signature beat. You know, we're taking the mid tempo banger instead of, I don't know, a song like why, you know, it's the best song. It's the right song. Yeah, that's fair. But I just think that like chain of strength, them playing fast is so good. And also like they do it in their own way with such power that like no other band has played fast before with like, or, or since, like they're the best band at playing like that chunky, fast, gnarly shit, right? Like it's it's not like fast moving riffs. There's not like that intensity in like the riffing. It's just in the power. Yeah, and that comes with the drumming and the singing and like like a guitarist that knows the the strengths of the drummer and letting him shine, knowing when to hang back, knowing the strengths of the singer, knowing when to hang back. It's just everyone lets each other shine, and it. It's like to write fast music like this is it's out of this world. Uh, never been touched since. True. But Ew. what I will yeah. say is this song is like template for what is to come for the next five years after in that like pylon sing along like as the focus. Do you know what I mean? Like this gives wings to the outspoken stuff, gives wings to the strife stuff and all of that this song's template you know i don't know i think this song is like more it's great i mean it's one of my favorite songs of all time yeah he, but how I don't, are you arguing I don't, against true till death <laughs> because i think that like their fast shit is like what makes them so so spectacular um, well never understand this, isn't even in this discussion yet and that's the best one well you could bring it up at some point you could have you didn't i know but uh i should okay i should uh that's that clevo we go on to you you get six song switches as the number three person Okay. Well, I really want to go be a dick and change some of the songs you guys have already picked, but I'm trying not to. So let's start with The Fix, which is at, where's The Fix right now? The Fix is at 86, um, changing Cuz the Elite to Vengeance. Okay. I had that. 
Good one. Um, at number, sorry, I'm scrolling through. I should probably search instead of doing it. This is like legit. Um, at number 80, TSOL. Yep. I want to change abolish government silent majority to code blue. Okay. Cleva wants to fuck. Cleva wants to fuck the dead. <laughs> um, I always thought that about it. Two. Let's see. Um, hey. Some of these are, are pretty... Pretty good dialed in. Um, Dag Nasty at number 58. Yep. I want to change circles to, I mean, I'd like to change Dag Nasty to Swizz in hindsight, putting Swizz on the list instead. But since I can't do that, I'm going to change circles to justification. Okay. I think circles is really good. And I'm not even a big. It's guy. good. Justification's better. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> what about can I say? Um, Let's see. Another good song. Um, and and Swizz is better than all of them. <laughs> and I can't believe I forgot to put Swizz on the list. I'm really mad at myself now. Um, yeah, and number I'm 55, not. Wipers. Uh, no, don't change this. I'm changing it to Is This Real? Oh. Clevo, I think that's an okay pick. Clevo, when you said, I'm just mad at myself, I, it reminded me of, I'm just mad, mad at myself, mad at myself by government issue. And then I got mad at myself for not having putting government issue on the list. Um, I also was thinking about putting ignition on the list too. And I, 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 I only had three picks, so I, I, I had a tough one there. Um, number 23 judge. I want to swap out New York crew for fed up. Okay. I'm all right with that. I am fed up. (laughs) Um, That's a good, that's a good coin flip. I'd be happy with either. I want to change the Misfits song, but I feel like Zach's going to change it back anyways, so I, I don't necessarily want to do that. I don't know if I'm going to, Clevo, if we're uh, if we're strategizing on that. The Misfits, I, like, I'm okay with the top 20 songs being there. But how so many more I'm, picks do I have? Uh, Dan or Ben, did you pay attention? Yeah, you've got three left. You've got three left? Including whatever you're about to do. I want to change the Misfits to Bullet. Oh, oh yeah. hell uh, yeah. Nice. That's 1970s. Yeah. That's 1970s. That's okay, true. It's so never mind. Then I'm not going to change Miss Fitz the nine. Bullet. <laughs> um, Skulls uh, was 70s too, wasn't it? Was Skulls 70s? What? No, I don't even remember. No, Skulls was on uh, Walk Among Us. Oh, yeah. It's 82. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm Ben. Actually, <laughs> I'm honestly, I, I can't believe this, I'm saying this. I'm running out of picks here. Well, just, that's fine. That's are you, look at the top 10 or 15. Are you happy with everything there? Yeah, you can look down the top 20. Oh, um, Chromags from Hard Times to It's the Limit. Okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, Dan, you just talked him into it. <laughs> I know. That's the one. I had World Peace before, and it was the it, – like, I feel weird saying this, but it was the one when I was listing the top 20 in a, in a row, I was like – Ooh, I'm gonna have to bump this one down. And then I put in hard times. I was like, there it is, number ten. You know? <laughs> uh it's a limit and uh don't tread on me are great because like they're that classic hardcore song formula, right? Verse chorus, verse chorus breakdown. Um, and they're doing it better than anyone. But fuck hard times, dude. And Show No Mercy is probably my favorite. So I don't know. This is a good one though, Clevo. Maybe um, the best breakdown of all time. It, yeah, the breakdown is so hard, but fucking hard times. Wait, so I have one. I have one more, right? Uh, two, two, two more. more. Um, verbal assault number thirty-eight. I'm going to change trial to running. Ooh, that ri- that riff and running is my favorite part of that entire record. Respect. It's uh, so good. yeah, yeah. I I might have chosen scared, but. That's fine. Scared is also great. Yeah, um, they're all great. It's one of the best LPs of all time. I wonder how many Zach gets to change back. Uh, what did we put? I don't think I get any to change back. Yeah, I don't think so. I thought you did. No, um, he no. gets bumps. He gets bumps. All right, and here's the last one for me. Uh, number 71, Slapshot. No friend of mine to I've Had Enough. To Straight Edge Cadence. To I've <laughs> To the Straight Edge Cadence. 
<laughs> uh, no friend of mine goes to I've had enough. Yeah. Okay. All right. There we are. We are through with the song switch round. And now we move on to bumps. Dan, with that uh, top roll, you get 50 points to bump around. What uh, what are we doing here? Zach. Okay. Before, yeah. well, Dan, before you go, Zach, I have a question. These are only bump ups, not bump downs, or are they both? No, you both. Choose to bump something 50 points down if I wanted. Oh. Yeah, okay. you can move anything anyway. Okay. So you, if you... If that sheer terror at number six is driving you crazy, you want to knock it down 20, you can do it. It'd be a goddamn shame because that's the sixth best punk song of the 80s. Well, which one? Just can't hate enough. Um, Okay, Dan, you got 50. What are we doing here? Okay, so we are going to move the band at number five to number one. We are going to put Minor Threat in my eyes at number one. Then I'm putting... uh, I'm moving uniform choice to number two. All right. Dan has spent 13 points to put minor threat in my eyes at number one and uniform choice. No thanks at number two. Dan, what is your next move? What do you want to move where? Okay. I am going to move number six between uniform choice and adolescence. So I'm moving the number six choice of bad brains, right brigade to the number three song. Yep. Okay, that's four slots, Ben. And that is up there. Now I am going to move number five to number four. I'm just going to switch five and four. So that's one more yep. spot and one more five, bump. So I'm four. moving agnostic front to number four. Yep. And adolescents get bumped down. To number five. And agnostic right. front is blind justice into last warning. So everyone can stay with what we're doing. So now I am going to move the ne- number 12 song, which is negative approach. Nothing. Yep. I'm going to move that to number five for seven points. Yeah. It's actually, that's eight, but okay. Is it? Yeah. That's how we're counting it. I'm going to okay. highlight, I'm going to highlight the negative approach thing and we're going to move it to the number five. It's an eight count. Okay. So and let's, uh, let's take eight out of his points and let me do this move here. Dan is moving Native Approach Nothing into the number five slot. Respect. God, look how good that top five looks right now. <laughs> it's beautiful now. It was beautiful before, and it's going to be beautiful at the end. Yep. Yep, absolutely. And then we need to erase num- uh, number 13 out of there, right? Yep, that's right. Good catch. NA. Yep. Okay. Now I'm going to get a little more wacky. Oh, not wacky, but I'm gonna I'm gonna make some moves for some of the things that are really important to me. So I have how many left, Ben? Out of my okay. fifty? Twenty-four. Okay, I'm gonna move number thirty-nine. Okay. Into the space between SSD and Black Flag. Okay, that's twenty one. And that is side by side backfire in your face. <laughs> you got three yep. left. Three left just to protect them to make sure that they don't get bumped off the list. Um I'm just gonna protect them because I really love this song and I really think it should be higher. Um I'm gonna move last resort violence in our minds three spaces up in between DYS and effigies. Okay. So it's going to go one, two, yep, three spaces up. It goes between, it goes actually between, if you have three points, it's going to go between effigies and outburst. Okay. All right. Well, just to, just to protect it in case there's some stuff at 101 coming back into the list, I want to make sure last resort, violence in our minds stays on this top 100 songs because the, entire output maybe isn't you know absolutely classic and the greatest ever but this song and king of the jungle one of them deserves to be on this top songs of the 80s list and i'm i'm happy that it's violence in our minds because 
it's really good. And then to the listener out there, I'm sure there's many listeners out there that have heard the Madball cover version, and it is really good. Um, so check that out as well. Hell yeah. Yep. Last Resort, Violence in Our Minds, still in in 94. Um, God, and my funeral ration slipping out. It's gotten bumped down so much. I think I had it at like 70. Well, it's you down do to 91. Bump, you do get some bumps on the back end. That's true. That's true. But I think I'm going to have to be fucking with that top 20. We'll see. <laughs> um, okay. Especially when egregious line stepping machine Benjamin J. Merlis attacks the list right now. That's right. What's Thanks, my, host. What's my middle name that starts with a J? This is all news to me. Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat. <laughs> I love it. All okay. right. Ben, you got 40. Dan, please keep track. Okay. I'm going to move. Where you want to move where, Ben, and then I'll tell you how many, how many points yes, you get. Yes. Yes, I will do that. All right. I'm going to move the Adolescence Kids of the Black Hole to number two, which is in between <laughs> Minor Threat and Uniform Choice. Okay. All right. Ready for your yeah. next one. 35 left, Ben. 35. All right. I'm going to move uh, TSOL Code Blue from number E. What is it at now? 80. I'm going to move it to. Um, whew, this is tough. Because there's so many songs I like that I don't want it to be over, but then there's songs I don't like that are over that. So it's like, where do you sneak? <laughs> where do you where do you slot it in? Uh, I'm gonna do it to. It's gotta be uh, thirty. I'm gonna do it between Dead Kennedy over uh, below Dead Kennedys and above Bold. Okay, is, over Dead Kennedys and below Bold is forty six points. You don't have that many. Damn! God damn it! <laughs> well, how many points does he have, Danny? He has thirty five, right? Thirty five. Yeah, so 35. you can put it between Iron Cross and the Wipers. Um, I can't believe is this real is over mystery. By the way, Clevo, shame on you. <laughs> that's a great well, song, though. That's like that. Those are both top five songs for me. Absolutely. I'm gonna put co- Code Blue between Angry Samoans, Lights Out, and Fugazi Waiting Room. So that would put it at number fifty one. So how many points yep. did I just use right there? Twenty nine points. So how many so do I have, have left? Six left. All right, make six it count. Left. Also, I've even. not heard the song that is at number 50. I've never heard that. Hold on real quick. And that song, by the way, to the listener, I'm, we're just talking here. I'm sorry. We're trying to include you into it. The song at number 50 is by a band called Llama, and it's called Vila Canine or Canaan. Yeah, dude. Trying to get some international flavor on the list here. I love it, but I just don't know the song. Dude, it's so good. It's like raw, hardcore, but very melodic at the same time it's finnish for all the nerds out there yeah and uh yeah don't want you guys shooting up any malls so we got to put something on there shit liquors aren't making it but uh llama getting on there and i'm sure i pronounced it wrong but uh yeah it's there okay so tsl code blue coming in at 52 let me six points left ben all right i'm gonna make it Make it short and sweet. Um, um, I want to put. I want to move Black Flag up as many points as I have left. So where would that put them? They're yeah, right he now. Has, they're he has six, Dan. Six. Danny has six. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so, so it's between, between last, Misfits and Killing Time. Uh, between Misfits and Last Rites. So above the Misfits, Ben. How dare you? <laughs> uh, here we go. I feel like revenge. Yeah. How dare I? So last Rites. Right. I thought it was going to go below Misfits by one. Oops. But you know what? Come on. Black flag. Whatever. You, you'll never understand, Dan. You'll never understand. All okay. Right. All right. And we go to Clevo. Clevo, you got 30 bumps. All right. Um, hmm. Reggie's pissed that Black Flag's ahead of the Misfits, by the way. He's walking around growling. <laughs> <laughs> well, Clevo can change it. And you also have a final petition, Dan. How many bumps does Reggie get? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I am going to move Agnostic Front at number five. Actually, no, before we do that, I'm going to move Bad Brains at number four to number two behind Minor Threat. So between Minor Threat and the Adolescence. All right, so that's three points. All right, sorry, I had to turn on a light. 
Um, okay, so bad brains are going below minor threat. Yes. Points. So he has 27 left. All right, so another three points. I'm going to move agnostic front behind bad brains, so between bad brains and adolescence. Not bad at it. Not no, bad a good at move. it at all. All right, so that brings up... It's right below bad brains, correct? Yep. Yep. Okay. So another Dan. three points, so he's at six. He's got 23 left. Okay, let me just sort this down here. And right now, for everyone listening along, our top five is sat- rounded out right now as Minor Threat in My Eyes, Bad Brains Right Brigade, AF, Blind Justice Last Warning, Adolescence, Kids of the Black Hole, and Uniform Choice, No Thanks. All right, yep. so you're going to notice a trend here because I'm going to move something up three points. Um, <laughs> I'm moving negative approach up three points, so I'm going to put them between Agnostic Front and Adolescence. I like that. I really like that bumpage. Well done, Clevo. Yeah, I got to interrupt here. If you're not from California, you don't like the adolescence? What the fuck is going no, on? I, on. I, love the, I love the adolescence, but... but... Have you ever heard nothing, Ben? Try to not yell. Try to not yell. It's hard to do the audio okay. shoot back then. <laughs> well... It, it, you know I've got to yell when Ben is is downgrading negative approach. Okay. I I mean we finally have to just yell at him for one. Yeah, and and, and Clevos has how many points now left? He yeah. has twenty one points left. Right. So if he hated adolescence, he could have bumped it down twenty points. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So he, he's still allowing adolescence his top five right now. He could also bump Sheer Terror out of the top twenty. You could but have. Clevo knows. I know, but I had I had to I had to get my main See, man jules massey in the top 20 dude and at your heart of hearts you both know hardcore and you know it belongs top 10 uh clevo <laughs> all right so i am going to move at number 44 oh good God. sick of it all oh nice <laughs> i'm gonna move them to number so between straight ahead and verbal assault so that is six spots okay oh, that's it say, between <laughs> fucking Dan. <laughs> you know okay. you you had way more points than six. i did to work with you could have moved sick of it all yep. to the top yeah that's six, six points six points and 15. here we go so he's at 15 he's got 15 left okay yeah. let me just make sure i did this right it goes after straight ahead and let man me- how good is straight ahead <laughs> can we just put that out there right now <laughs> you know we're getting on uh crucial response a lot First of all, shout out Youngblood. They got the uh, Rancor 7-inch up, the first one. Now, where's the second one at, dude? What the fuck? Uh, but, and, and also, he said that uh, Life's Halt was going to go up soon. So respect. Uh, no respect to Crucial Response. Still slipping out there with your one song on Bandcamp. Some straight up bullshit. And also, someone make the straight ahead uh, discography come out again. At least get it on digital. I know that a ton of labels have vied for it and it's just got to happen at some point. It's some of the best hardcore in the history of hardcore, which means it's some of the best music in the history of music. Can we get it out there for the people? You know what I mean? Like I don't care about anything being like a secret, like let's get the best music out to all the people. So they know the best music, right? Come on. 100%. And also if anyone from straight ahead is listening and you want a label that will actually pay you for putting the record out, Put it out on indecision. Dave will pay you. That's what's up. That is what's up. Okay. Uh, next one, Clevo. Okay. I am going to move at number 87, The Fix. Yep. I'm going to move it up. I'm going to move it up six spots uh, between Naked Reagan and the Partisans. Egregious. Okay. That will count as seven. Is that seven? Yeah. So up seven. Okay. 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 I'm going to move. Uh, what did I see? Oh, I like that we have the subhumans and subhumans as 76 and 77. Yeah. It's kind of funny. Um, I'm going to move Doom from 71. <laughs> this is interesting because this was your put in where you could have put it up higher. <laughs> you have some wasted points here, but respect. <laughs> I, you know, I don't know why I didn't put it in here when I did it earlier. Um, I just love this. Um, I'm going to move it uh, in front of instead. Okay. So Doom is going to go in front of instead. Three, three, so that's so three that, points. So you have four points left. Yeah, that's four. Four points for that move. It's four he points. He has four points left. Okay. Yeah. 
And this is interesting. I I know probably to everyone listening right now, this sounds like a lot of fucking. I'm doing this and I'm moving this around and like it's it's all for the list in general at the end, which we can all discuss on the back end, dear yeah. listeners. Like, don't but worry no. that this is very chess related. But, it, but it's it, also sick, right? Like you're looking at Doom, right? And it's yeah. <laughs> what is it at? It, it was at like in the low seventies. Yeah. You're like, I just can't accept that, dude. Doom's got to be at least number sixty-eight. Well, because I think I feel like in my world, the <laughs> and, and you guys are going to disagree, and I, it's it can't even be East Coast bias because because Doom isn't from the East Coast. But in my world, I can't have a world where instead is in front of Doom. And I should have thought of that when I put them in before. I should have also put Swizz in before. So this is this is. Uh, well, you a can, lot going on here. You've got so. one last petition, so Swizz can well, be your petition. It, it That's, true. Um, That's true. Which makes me think about my next move, because I was going to do this. But I love that you put Doom in and then used more points to move them I should have moved them up. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to use my last four points. This might get yeah. kicked out of Boston. But I want to move Turning Point up from 101 as far as I can. Which is going to bounce the FUs out of the top 100. Yep. So four points is going to go between Unity and the Necros. Okay. And so last resort is still there. Still there. That's right. That's right. So, okay. Turning point goes in there. Turning point is at 98. So, 95 through 100 is the last resort. Violence in our minds. Outburst the hard way. Unity straight on view. Turning point to lose. Necros. IQ 32. And number one hundred, number one hundred, urban waste, police brutality. I gotta say, you know, that's if you're talking last five of. I mean, how powerful is that? Strong, strong. You, those five songs are on a comp. It's one yeah. of the best hardcore comps of all time. Absolutely. Yep. Okay, let's see where we're at here. Um, okay, so I get twenty bumps and three song switches. Yeah. So. I was I thought it was two song, song switches because oh, we, you, decided, you, said, you said three and then two. I don't care. You guys can vote. What do you think, Dan? Two or three? Well, since you had the whole list, I just say two. Okay. Uh, ben, two or three? I, I like Dan's logic. I agree with that too. Okay. So I'm outvoted. We do it at two. And let's see here. My two song switches. Well, number one. Just Can't Hate Enough is going back to Here to Stay. <laughs> and that's that's uh, Sheer Terror, by the way. That's correct. Uh, which is still at number eight. It's still in the top ten. It's two slots too low. Um, let's see here. What else? Descendants are behind Sheer Terror, by the way, everyone. Like, Youth of Today is behind Sheer Terror. Chromax well, is behind Sheer Terror. Blitz is behind Sheer Terror. I'm going to jump off a bridge right now. It's about the song, not the band or the album. Yeah. So it's a yeah. full different exercise. Don't let Dan trick you with some fucking bullshit. <laughs> um, okay. Jesus. Right into the mic? You know, fuck. I'm okay with like all the switches you guys made. Like I'm not... I'm not tripping too hard off anything. Uh, what my you see song got changed as long as blind justice last warning is the same. Right brigade, you went. Well, let in my eyes live like that has like a real argument of being the greatest hardcore song of all time. Right brigade, right there as well. But I think I'm swapping back to I. We're keeping mid tempo banger is number two. Um, okay, those are my two switches. So minor threat in my eyes is going to be number one. Bad brains eye is in number two. Agnostic front blind justice last warning number three. Uh, let's see here. I got twenty bumps. You know what, dudes? Everything's pretty good. Let's see here. All right, we got Fugazi at fifty four. We're gonna move. Fugazi, 20 slots to (laughs) 73. This is an outrage. (laughs) This is just, this is like fucking um, Vince Russo has written this in the back. (laughs) Uh, It's still, dude, it's number 73, top 
100 punk and hardcore songs of all time. It's below Blast. It's above Which is Slash. an outrage. It, it should at least be ahead of Blast. Uh, top 100 Disagree. punk and hardcore songs of the 80s, which is 80s. pretty close to being of all time. Yeah, that was that was a Freudian slip. Are we going to do this for the 90s and for the 2000s as well? Of course we are. Hell yeah. The 2000s, the internet's going to melt down again. <laughs> um, but okay. Yeah, so that's the 20. And let's see here. Let's move on to the final petitions. Dan, you got one final petition. What's it going to be? Oh, God. Um, I mean, what I really want to petition, but I don't want to just just waste the petition and it's just gone um but when i look at this i can't i can't live with like black flag the misfits antidote all being behind sheer terror so i am gonna petition for number eight sheer terror to go to and i won't i won't line step here i'm gonna move i'm gonna petition for number eight sheer terror to be moved down to it they can't be ahead of ssd and for me they can't be ahead of side by side but i know i'm gonna make a concession here i'm gonna put them between ssd and side by side and that's my uh final petition i think dan you did the right thing you did the fair thing i will allow it so there it is. And that allows Chromax to sneak into the top 10, which will be great. Okay. There we are. It is in at number 19. Uh, Sheer Terror here to stay. Below SSD, get it away, and above side by side backfire. Okay. Ben, final petition. You got one. This is really tough because I'm looking at everything that got, got bumped down off the list number 101 through 114. These are These are songs that just won't appear on the list. And both youth brigades, neither of them are on the in the top 100 now. So that's that's terrifying. Also, uh, social distortion. I know Clevo likes yeah. them more as a rock band, and I know Dan <laughs> hates them because their fans are rockabillies or whatever reason. He oh, he just doesn't no, like California. I, I, I do love the first few records. I do really love them. I okay. think this song that is chosen is very valid on being on this yeah. list completely. So also, you did mention government issue earlier, but yeah, yeah. like uh, Youth Brigade Sync with California not being on here is is wild. Yeah. Once so, uh, when I was sleeping over at Dan's house 20 years ago and we were tired and talking as as young men do, he once confided in me that he per, he prefers Social Distortion Sick Boy to GBH. That is not true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> All right. So here's my final petition. Get both youth brigades back on the list just below GBH Sick Boy. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Where is GBH Sick Boy at? Uh, 69, dude. Nice. Oh, that's so high, though. That's, that's not so high. That high. Are you kidding me? That's not that high. You're saying that they belong above All Crowd. Twisted? Yes. The Blast Song. You, you believe it belongs above Fugazi and Slapshot? I don't believe it belongs above Fugazi, thing? but you got to do what you got to do. Actually, yeah, I do actually believe it belongs belongs above Fugazi. Oh, and so I think them, I think you got to choose. I'm 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 saying you got to choose California or DC. Okay, well then there there's Dan saying that his yay is out. Mine still might be in, Ben. I think that is a fair petition. I haven't decided which way I'm going to go or not. Do you want to adjust your petition uh to get that yay vote from Dan or do you want to uh, hope that Clevo co-signs on your uh, double youth brigade? So um, Yeah, go for it, Clevo. So He's I mean, saying both youth brigades would move up below GBH above Kraut. I mean, I think that I, I, one, I think that it's not in the spirit of the game to move two bands in when you have one final petition. Yeah. Um, well, first of all, Ben, is this, is this your actual petition before Clevo says yay or nay? Cause you can't say nay and then you, you change it. Cause that would be two petitions. Okay. No, I think, You're- I think that, I think that I agree with Dan. He's got, he's got to choose one or the other. Okay, Ugh. and I would say you should probably choose the California one. This I is horrible. Agree. This is horrible. Because but you kind of gave you kind of defaulted gave Ben 
a second petition now anyway because he threw one up it got shot down and now he's going again well sort of he well, got morphed you he know what morphed. we've we've been a little loosey-goosey with the rules all night so he's <laughs> just gonna have to choose one here <laughs> that just wants to be ironclad when it comes to ben he wants to be iron is a, a perennial line stepper i am yep. not I okay am ben a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true that's true right. okay ben what do you want to do here well here's why i wanted you both youth brigades um up against each other because but we have both subhumans up against each other so when people read the list they'd be like oh that's dope <laughs> but and that's what you should have done i think you would have gotten it if you would have said i want to move both your three days underneath both subhumans um then okay in, then in the spirit of the weirdness you might have gotten some yays this is my final petition here goes i want to move both <laughs> youth brigades under uh, underneath both subhumans there you go <laughs> <laughs> I'll give right. it to him. I'll give it to him. Okay. I, I, I'll, I'll, I don't I don't like it, but it's fine. But now the <laughs> necros are not gonna be on the top one hundred, so all old heads will be telling us we're completely full of shit. It doesn't matter. I'm declining it anyway because Ben low rated negative approach on the eighties best hardcore records. I'd like so to fuck it. I'd like to point out something. I never bumped <laughs> anything down once tonight. I'm all about being positive. Um, I was confused by infrared. I think that problem took care of itself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more so. I can't approve it just because Necros and Urban Waste got to be on the playlist. Although and this might get us in the end because someone will be like, "How the fuck do you have Necros and Urban Waste at 99 and 100?" Where it's like, if you just wouldn't have had them on the list, they would have forgot about it. Well, here, <laughs> yeah. Here's why I was torn about Youth Brigade, the about picking one or the over the other, because I've always said California Youth Brigade is the better of the two, but it's about time that we had a change by DC Youth Brigade. That's the best song out of either band. So they have yeah. to me, DC Youth Brigade has the better one better song, although California Youth Brigade better band overall. Well, this is a list of songs and you could have just gone for the one song and you know, you would have probably got yays. Well, the thing is, but now you, you're living in Nayville. You, you look at <laughs> D, you look at DC youth brigade and you think, well, where's the fucking other one? You know, the better one. <laughs> so it's gotta be both. Okay. All right. Clevo final petition. I can't believe Dr. No got bumped. Yeah. Now I can't go home. Yeah. Thanks dudes. I'm um, coming in at 107, Dr. No Burn. So, yeah, so <laughs> I would like to replace at 99 the Necros, which I'm going to say it's not a great record. It's Collector Core. Um, I want to replace the Necros with Swizz. Yeah, Just let's fine. do it. What yeah, song? I'll yay, I'll yay that. Uh, lie from Hell Yes, I Cheated. Great. Let's do it. Absolutely agree with that. Okay. Well, it's unanimous. And there we are. People, this is the final list. Uh, ready to get crucified online <laughs> by uh, all you that we love you. You can hate us, but we love you. Um, I, all I know is that just imagine Zach swimming on Silver Strand in the water, enjoying it. And just all these barnacles start attaching to him and start eating him from within because Dr. No is at 107. Hey, Kyle never came on the pod, so whatever. No fucking sympathy. And Dr. No burn is a dictionary core. It's very verbose. <laughs> um, right on. Okay. I'm going to read the top 10. Uh, number one, minor threat in my eyes. Bad brains, I. Agnostic Front, Blind Justice, and a Last Warning. Negative Approach, Nothing. Adolescence, Kids of the Black Hole. Uniform Choice, No Thanks. Bad Religion, Do What You Want. Descendants, Bike Age. Youth of Today, Stabbed in the Back. Chromags, It's the Limit, coming in at number 10. Dan, 11 to 20. Blitz, Raises in the Night, Seven Seconds, Young Till I Die. Last Rites, Chunks, Black Flag, Revenge. Misfits, Astro Zombies. Killing Time, Backtrack, Antidote, Something Must Be Done, SSD, Get It Away, Sheer Terror, Here to Stay, and at number 20, Side by Side, Backfire. Ben, 21 to 30. Four skins, one law for them. 
Reagan youth, new Aryans, suicidal tendencies institutionalized, judge, fed up, ill repute, clean cut American kid, chain of strength, true till death, gorilla biscuits, competition, discharge, protest and survive, breakdown, sick people, and at number 30, it's your choice. Peace or annihilation. Crucifix. Cleave. Clevo, 31 to 40. Cox Bar, where are they now? Poison Idea. That's low rent. Uh, made to be broken. Dead Kennedys, Nazi punks, fuck off. Bold, talk is cheap. Uh, Circle Jerks, I just want some skank into Beverly Hills. Uh, 36, Leeway, rise and fall. 37, straight ahead, straight ahead. Uh, 38, sick of it all. Injustice System, 39, verbal assault running. And number 40, void, my rules. Closing out 50, it's uh, number 41, Zero Boys, Civilization's Dying, Exploited, Punk's Not Dead, Alone in a Crowd, Is Anybody There, Sick of All, Injustice System, Is That There Twice? Yep. It is, which is great, because I think... Then Necros comes in at 100. Necros come back on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Let me drag this down. <laughs> oh. Or I, you know, I deleted uh, Necros the whole way. Clevo, we could bump it up and you can get FUs unite and lose there at a hundred. I think that's what he wants. Yeah, we're being Actually, egregious all was, night. It, what Clevo wanted Necros out of there completely because he says it's collector core. So yeah, that's true. FUs so there it is. In at a hundred. Yeah. Okay. So forty-one zero boys civilizations dying, uh, exploited. Punk's not dead. Alone in a crowd. Is anybody there? Iron Cross crucified. You see him live. They're going to play it three times. Hell yeah. <laughs> Uh, wipers is this real in at 45 operation ivy oh just another crowd rise of spring 47 for the want of ramones bonzo goes to blitzburg bitburg bitburg whatevs 49 <laughs> llama valia kainen staffing get at me i'm sure you know how to say it uh 50 angry samoans lights out and uh, that's the top 50. Everyone, 185milessouth.com. Click the other tab at the top of the page and then the top 100. You will see uh, the initial list as well as this list, which is pending because here's something that's up. Patreons, hit me up through the Patreon portal and you have three final petitions. So all you Patreons can put in three final petitions for this pending list that we have. And... uh yeah, let us know what should be changed. And we will do a Patreon episode where we accept or deny your petitions. Deny so, uh, everything, deny everything. That's right. That's right. <laughs> but uh, you got a shot here. Go ahead and send them in. Uh, 185milesouth.com. Smash that Patreon button. It's right there on the front page. The Patreons are the people that keep this playlist, or excuse me, keep this podcast alive. And uh, that's what's up. Okay, everyone. Let's just say the last 10 as well. Uh, well wait, Zach, we, we have to erase row 53. Okay. Because it's on there twice now. So there's going to be something else coming in at 100. Okay. So, well. and you're sure that's on there still? You see it yeah, somewhere? Yeah, you bumped it down to 70 something egregiously. Oh, so you could have had, you could have had Fugazi on the list twice, but Dan did the honorable thing. <laughs> uh now you know ben, ben's taking some heat over uh the years here ben do you want to enter in one of your youth brigade picks as number 100 as an Ooh. olive branch I you know that's what fair. you know what though i we i can't have one without the other so i want i want social distortion at number 100 uh, you waited too long it's dr no burn oh, going okay. in at 100 All right. there you go. <laughs> and there we it are. really should be social d though well, nope he he had a I, I gave him an olive olive branch and he line stuff so <laughs> not not today um, okay everyone how do we feel about uh, the list now Dan final thoughts I I mean this is a great exercise obviously you're never going to be happy with everything finally I mean where are we in a world where screeching weasel hey suburbia is above beyond vitality but you know this is the way things go out and it just creates discussion and the discussion is the most fun part of these kind of rankings and lists and we love that shit like this is why we do it because it's nerdy as fuck and we fucking love it and you know it's nice to put your name to something that you know you've actually really thought about and then even done a process 
to make work, you know, like there's so many great songs on here. So many, you know, um, I'm, I'm really happy with it. And with this being a playlist, like Ben said, this is something whenever you're just searching for something, when you're searching for the light, you throw this on. Fuck. That's something that could have been on here. It's on there. It's on there. Oh, it is. Okay, good. Number 82. Thank God. I was like, oh my God, I forgot that. Yeah, an 82 is about right. Um, God, the top 100 are fire. Okay, Ben, final thoughts on the list. Yeah, this list is uh, incredible. I, I, I couldn't say definitively if it's better than the list we started with. Of course it is. We added our we added shit we love to it. Um, so I think it's probably – I'm at a 95% uh, positivity rate here. <laughs> when you put this on, just press shuffle. Who gives a shit if you are pissed off that – fucking foreskins is number 21 and tsol is number 51 which is just totally absurd but hey they both made the list so that's good if this rain song sucks i'm totally bombed but and maybe maybe it's going to be my new favorite song it probably will be when ben does this you normally kind of love what he suggests yeah there's some i don't know that empire song i don't know the rain song so 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 that anytime we do this Go ahead. That Empire record was it was released and basically out of print in a week, but somehow a bunch of dudes from DC had copies of it, and it's the blueprint for Revolution Summer. Um, I think the biggest, I think the biggest influence. I think One Last Wish probably sounds the most like Empire, um, but it's really it's like Empire influenced Embrace, influ- influenced One Last Wish probably influenced rain also but like all of those bands really owe owe a great uh, debt of gratitude to that um and also i still have an email in my in my inbox that i've probably had from like over 20 years it's a game of telephone that i played with a friend of mine and steve hankson about that record so it's like those dudes were like on that like from the beginning well you just convinced zach that he hates it before he even (laughs) listens to it (laughs) (laughs) i'll give it an honest shot like i always do what's up uh clevo final thoughts on the list um do i have a chance to bump doom up again while while i'm talking again um i guess i you know strategy wise like i guess i didn't really know what i was doing um but you know this is again you know we're making a playlist uh we're talking about hardcore um you know again like 100 songs here there's a couple songs that fell off that you know kind of wish we're still on there but i I think that this is really a great representation of punk and hardcore for that decade and it's all over the decade too 1980 through 89 like there's representation everywhere on it so it's not like the meat was only in you know the first three years or anything you know it's like all over the place so that's fantastic yeah i'm really glad fu's didn't get bumped off the list so that is a really good song so yeah. good and and we're talking songs so I yeah mean, the whole record is great but that song needs to that that's a top 100 punk song of the 80s absolutely that song is so much better than everything else on the record and like you say it is a good record but that song is the star by a mile if there is if there is one song that you could get on this list that that didn't get on here whether it got bumped off or we forgot about it what what would you have what would you put on there do you think put i would have done uh, got to get away by stiff little fingers. There you go, uh, Ben. What do you think? Um, probably s- something by Government Issue. I mean, I guess Connecticut, except that would be line stepping because that's like n- like their least punk song ever. Even though I think it's their best. So I don't know, fucking teen- <laughs> teenager in a box. I guess. Yeah, I would. I would have liked. I would have liked that Life's Blood song to still be on there. I think it's great. And it's such a great song, like in the context of where the wild things are, you know, just because it's so fucking street, street punky, you know, but also like would have loved Axeman to be maybe around 99 or 100 just hanging on by a thread Um, is what it is. Like overall, the list is good. I liked my initial list. I like what you guys did to it. I wouldn't change a lot. I think that your opinions are invaluable. I uh, I think that Tim Yohannan and uh, Darby Crash chose the right crew of dudes. Uh, Han did shoot first. I agree. Uh, now that I've seen it in my dreams, I know. And on the original version. What's up, Don? 
And uh, yeah, Dan, where can the people find you? Well, Don's going to shoot first when he sees that sick of it all is only at 44 or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're at 38. Injustice system at 38. Um, people can find me on Instagram at Southport Instagrammer. Always welcome for good music recommendations and um, just to chat. Give me a shout. Ben, where can the people find you? I've, I'm on Instagram, but I'm not really on Instagram. So you can email me xbenedgex at yahoo.com. Keeping it old school. Love it. Clevo, where can the people find you? Um, on Instagram at Clevo. All right. Everyone get at me 185 miles south at gmail.com. That's the best way I respond to everyone. Also, we're on Instagram, 185 miles south. We're on Twitter, the same, and we're on threads, the same. Uh, those are all dodgy. Don't DM me, dude. Send an email. Come on. Uh, and then my personal, Zach Ritali, Instagram. And you know, we haven't played a show in over a year, but still the best. Ritali is the best on Instagram. Everyone, we love you all. We'll talk to you next week on Patreon. We're taking your uh, petitions to uh, move this list around. This thing is not final, but it will be after next Monday. And uh, we love you all. We'll talk to you soon. Uh, addendum. <laughs> so apparently <laughs> on my initial list, I forgot to put Warzone. And it got past uh, Dan and Clevo. And Ben was probably stoked and kept it to himself this whole time. Uh, <laughs> What but, a weasel. But, but we could not let the top uh, 100 punk and hardcore songs of the 80s go by without having a Warzone song on. Because if you don't like Warzone, don't forget the struggle. Don't forget the streets. You don't like hardcore. What's up? Dan, where do you think we should put Warzone and at what number? And what song? And what That's... song? Yep. Where do you think? Right. Okay, so if we do we go as one because it is just the ultimate unity song or do we go like literally I mean fuck your attitude so good uh don't forget the struggle don't forget the streets is the quintessential sounding war zone but intro bust into um it's your choice has the the thing that makes it more quintessentially Warzone than anything, which is the the skit. Uh, I think that's you have, my you vote. Have, you have three choices. You have Intro Bust is your choice. You have As One, or you have Don't Forget the Struggle, Don't Forget the Streets. So you're taking Intro Bust into As One. I mean, excuse me, Intro Bust into It's Your Choice. Yeah, that's my vote. Okay. Uh, and where would you put it? I would put it at number 21. Bust into is your choice and you put it at 21 ahead of Reagan yeah. news. Uh, at 21 would be in front of the foreskins. You oh, put yeah. it under foreskins above Reagan youth or over foreskins under side by side. I'll put it in between side by side and foreskins. Okay. So you would put it at 21. All right. Clevo, what do you think? So I think it should be as one. Okay. Um, I would probably say at number so between SSD and Sheer Terror. Okay. As so one 19. at eighteen. As one at eighteen. Yeah. Eighteen or nineteen. Yeah, so it would above, be nineteen if it was in between those two. Yeah, I think I think it should go right under fuck how do you compare it to get it away you know and but it's killing times ahead to get it away i mean it's just a it's a weird world we're living in okay ben where would you put it uh as one would be my choice between those three songs and i can't put it uh i i put it between tsol and the professionals so between 51 and 52 i guess that would make it 51 okay so ben would go as one at 51 respectable there's, i like there's it. lots of stuff underneath that, that that i really like that i like more than Warzone though so it's okay so whatever. where would you put it 
but we're talking about the song, not Warzone. So, I mean, if you wanted to put it at 100. Oh, no, no, no. I, I understand we're talking about songs, but like, I like Rat Patrol by Naked Ray Gun more than as one by Warzone. And that's at number 78. So should it be number 79? Eh. Yes. Yeah. If that's what you think. Well, no, because there's stuff above that that I like less than Warzone. So let's just be reasonable and say, put it at number 52. Okay. Ben would put Warzone as one at 52. Dude, it's Warzone as one. Jesus Christ. Are you choosing Um, as one as well? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going as one as well. Dan. The Warzone women then, I guess. (laughs) Word. Uh, (laughs) Dan. Warzone women will fuck you if you're lucky. If I am lucky, yeah. Um, I, that's my petition. Because <laughs> the Warzone women may have tripped to Oakland. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's put it. Let's put it at number twenty. There we go. That would be my choice, and uh, it is what it is. Warzone I mean, with twenty-one, eighteen, and twenty. That, I think that's pretty consensus, even though Ben was low ranking it. I was going to say we should average out what all of us said, and then whatever that is, that's where it goes. Yeah, but that, that's not that's the trap we're not falling into with both you guys, with Dan low ranking uh, Black Flag in the 80s. I go, I guess, you know, Tim Yo, he did come in and, and say that's what Clevo's well, for, balance it out, right? So, yeah, so I put it in at 20. And so, so if, if we, we average averaged it. Out, if we yep. average it, it would be 27.75, so yep. that would put it um, chain. between Chain and GB. Actually, that's pretty fair. How did I not change Clean Cut American Kid back to uh... – <laughs> Jesus Christ, not to book an cover. Anyway, um, yeah, okay, so 27.5. We'll put it there. How about that? So it's now twenty Warzone. number 28, right? Or is it 27? Correct. Correct. 28. 28. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. When he when he when he sorted it all down. So yeah. Anyway, we'll leave it at that, so we don't take any more. Everyone, we love you all. <laughs> Fuck it, eh? <laughs> there you go. Warzone sliding in at number twenty-seven. Warzone has <laughs> one. Everyone, keep it real. See y'all. I said, forget about it, cuz. No, you trucks can't get in pubs. No, you shot, nothing wrong.